Damn it. Hey guys, and welcome to Alpha 16 Experimental Gameplay. So it finally dropped. So I'm just going to create a server with you guys. I said I'm going to play multiplayer, so I'm going to host a server like this. And I'm going to invite friends to join me. Uh, the first episode or two might be only me, so we'll see. I'm going to keep the settings on Warrior. I should actually set it on default, but I want a bit of a challenge. <laughs> I just don't know if it's going to be a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to keep it on 90 minute days. Uh, loot respawn. Let's just put this on 20 days. Drop on death tool belt, drop on quit nothing. I actually made the blood moon count from 8 to 16. Enemy spawning, what's this? Obviously on. Uh, airdrops every 7 days, cheat mode off, mark the airdrop. And then for multiplayer. This mouse is actually really uh, sensitive. Okay, let's see. Oh, for a moment there. Uh, okay, no killing. Public private. It's a private game. A max number of players. I'm gonna make eight. Game password. Okay, I'll set a password later because I actually want. I don't want to do that on camera. No, I'll just cut that piece out now. Okay, so I set the claim block range to 31, and it lasts three days. So if you don't log in back in three days, it goes inactive. On the one hand, I'm super excited, on the other hand, I'm a little bit <laughs> angry because I struggled just now with a video for seven hours editing it. And as soon as I post it, all of a sudden, a friend of mine says, Hey, Alpha 16 is out. I think later on, I'll continue that build in Alpha 16 because <laughs> that was way too much effort to just delete that video. Let's just hope we don't encounter wolves or die wolves soon. Wow, these cells are actually loading extremely slowly. Remember, with Alpha 15, it just shot past. I actually wanted to stream these videos, but I, <laughs> I couldn't set up an overlay soon enough, and it's nighttime here, so I can't disturb everyone. So I'm just going to make quite a few videos, and then upload them in succession. Please spawn me either in the desert or the forest biome. The plains is okay. Wasteland. I'm not in the wasteland, am I? Something's off. Uh, what can it be? My reach distance isn't that far. That's the problem. And now I don't know which is which. So let's just play around with them and see. And that's a little bit better. I think I'll have to put my field of view up uh, way more. Because it's a little bit better now, but it's still huge. Okay, so that is a burnt biome. This is a plains biome. And that seems to be a ton of water. Let's just see if we move this a bit bigger. Video, field of view, mm, 80 should be fine. That's even better. <laughs> it shows I'm used to the Alpha 15 point of view. Wow, they changed the quest a bit. Yeah, we wait for that. Let's just quickly start looting everything. I'm not actually sure of the things they added in the game. I should have actually read the notes before starting to play. I actually thought they were going to drop it on Monday, not Saturday night. First things first, we have to get a weapon and we have to get to a town or something. So we can defend ourselves. The game definitely feels a lot different. The handling of it as well, it just feels a little bit... I don't I know if it's just because I'm so used to Alpha 15 that it feels a little bit weird for me. These nests are actually super small. At least as soon as you run over them, it actually shows the option to loot. Place it and then pick it up for now. We're going to drop it as soon as we come across a dangerous enemy. And plant fibers. At least I've gathered most of the things I need at the moment. Also, I see they added a new tab, Science. So it's like all the medical stuff. Okay, shift click these in. The quality actually went up very fast. Okay, let's see what's to this side. 
Hopefully we can skip the burn biome. Let's just gather some wood first. And while we chop this, let's make the wooden club. Connected. <laughs> Hello. Okay, now my uh, my mic actually stopped working when I went into TeamSpeak just now. Weird. It actually did the same with the recording that I just uploaded before noticing Alpha 16 was out. The yeah, I found a grassland. What server are you hey. playing? The public server. Pardon? Are you playing the public server? Yep. Right now it's called Schizo's Insane Server. At the moment I'm just playing a little bit of multiplayer that I made on my own so the ping isn't too high. Oh, okay, cool. I spawned in a very weird place. Uh, pardon, John? I actually spawned in a very weird place. It almost looks like a burnt biome. I thought this was burnt, but it seems just to be the plains biome, a very darker version. Oh, interesting. Oh damn, oh damn. It seems to be a vulture in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have a weapon yet. Flicky's already got, Flash has already got killed by one. I tried to beat it to death with a uh, torch. Didn't work out too well on my part. See, there's already zombies as well. Is the aiming for you guys a bit off as well, the handling of the ma uh, mouse? Yes. It feels very Playing the game, uncomfortable. It's fine, but in the menus, the mouse is way too sensitive. Now for me, it's the opposite. There's not enough sensitivity. It's like it's dragging behind. Oh wow, I even turned the sensitivity down to like nothing, and it still moves too fast in the menus. Mine's down to like 0.4. Okay, at least I have right. my arrow done. So I spawned next to a plains, grassland, and a city. So I'm staying here. Oh, come on! I am not walking th three, what is it, three kilometers back that way. Oh. That's way too far. Which biomes at the wolves again? Quite a few of them, I think. I just Maybe hope I don't find one now. Sure. It would suck if I run into one now, early in the game. Oh, no, this is Wasteland. Great. I think I'm just going to make a few videos in this server, and then I'll also come over to that server and do a few videos. Alright. Ooh, chicken. Yeah, take it back, I am not going to that city. <laughs> How's that? That's much better. I forgot I had the bot for a minute. Every now and then I have to actually minimize the game and actually see that my voice is recording. It's annoying. Oh wow. The previous video I actually shot an hour 16. It was that build we did. And then right. when I actually looked at it, at the 37th minute, all of a sudden my voice is muted. That's ridiculous. It's because we were using TeamSpeak and going back and forth to look at that picture. Wait, that just happened to you too, didn't it? So I hit, the, I clubbed him in the head and his leg broke. Weird. Okay, it bothers me that this vulture has disappeared. Uh oh. It bothers you what, sorry? That the vulture has disappeared. They, too, they uh, tend to fly around you. They don't just chase after you and try to attack you. They circle, they dive bomb you, and that, that kind of stuff. Can you help me kill this um, uh, lumberjack? Try. I saw the vulture over the hill, oh. so I stayed away. I got him. Can you hear me properly, or is my voice a bit soft? Yep. first zombie but the quality on the tools actually got up fast my first tool was like 25 quality oh god freaking sleeper 
Again. Ooh, a snake. And a snake. Good thing you mentioned that, because uh, Skiz just walked right by one. What, really? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, shit. This is killed. Uh, I just shot it and killed it. But I just had to make sure that it was actually dead. You could actually what you hear him. Set to? Guys, if you what? act. Okay, it's dead. You can actually hear the snakes. Animation. The snakes you can hear from a distance. They also don't have the death animation. Yeah, they just lay there. That's why I thought I, it might I be stunned. I killed it, but it didn't do anything. It just kind of stopped moving. Hey, come here. Come here inside. Skids. Come here inside. Did you also find a snake? Lots. Right there. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, first building. Both sleepers are working well. Yeah, no doubt. Also, to my viewers, if you want to join me in this game, just let me know and I can add you on Steam. Then I can make videos with you as well. Oh, this what is a trader. Damn, another snake. Where is it? <laughs> Knock the down tunnel. We knocked the fat guy off the railing. Okay, so why are the snakes attacking me from so far away? Ha ha. So we need to put a, a bedroll down quick. That's so irritating. Yeah, I've got one crafted. The snake, I actually shot him like four times and then all of a sudden he just uh, stood still for no reason. And probably means he's dead. Yep, but it sucks that you can't see that it actually died. Hey, Skits found us something for you in there. It's in the desk. It's a shame my ping to the international servers are so, uh, is so high. If it wasn't, I could actually play on the server with you guys now. He can play with Skids and us. We don't have, he doesn't have auto ban and shit set. No, but um, f if I connect to an international server like in uh, America or Canada, the ping's usually almost 300 ping. I just want to get this first recording done and then I'll try the server and see what the ping is like. Alright. It's awesome, I found my first trader by accident. I should probably start to make more arrows or something. Just take this rock, or oh, claimed. Supposedly smell is still broken. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, it's still broken. Uh, you can have food on you, it doesn't attract them. I said it's gonna be broken like this for all of uh, Alpha 16. How did you guys find out that Alpha 16 was out? I just kept checking. So you actually kept loading the experimental? Well, I just kept clicking verify once in a while. Because uh, uh, Flash told me that the streamer said it was going to be out today. So about every 15 minutes, I'd uh, hit verify. And then sure enough, it just started doing an update. 800 megs and I'm like, turn around. What? <laughs> hey! Piece of poop at you. You should start collecting wood so we can put up spikes. Everything actually looks more realistic. It actually bothers me that you can loot the trader's house and then sell his own stuff back to him. <laughs> there are actually forges and workbenches down in the normal trader's house. Oh, cool. And a chemistry station. All the stations there are. I might just build close to this place. Cement mixer, forge. 
That's awesome. Only problem is it's the desert, so I don't know how the eating system works in this alpha so far. You get less wood for harvesting now, but those, um, the regular spikes that you can't turn into steel spikes only cost 20 wood now. So it's a lot cheaper, but I wonder if they nerfed it. Probably. Let's see, I want the poo. I want to start hoarding from the beginning. It would be cool if I actually find a mining arm at this soon in the game. Yeah, that'd be nice. I found a steel shovel. What are you eating? Me? Yeah. Pizza. I can hear you enjoying yourself. I really am. It's delicious. I don't know if it's my graphics or something, but it actually looks too smooth. Um, it actually looks a lot anim a lot more animated than Alpha 15 so far. Hmm. Howdy, sir. Let's see what I can sell to this guy. There's not much that he can sell. Let's see, do you have a light for me? Oh well, at least I have my now. torch. But where am I, by the way? Don't ask me, you're not even on my server. I'm actually very close to the hub. Let's start with this point. So far, the only new thing I've seen are the snakes. And the vulture. Yeah, and the vulture. At least I stayed away from that one. I totally forgot about sleepers walked in the house and got attacked. He walked in the house. He, he walked in alone. He walked back out with like five zombies chasing him. <laughs> It's gonna get some I walked back in a little while later and then a couple of them respawned back in there. It's gonna take some time getting used to the sleeper zombies. Because you're so used to it's almost dark, just take shelter. But now you can't. No doubt. Let's see, where am I on the map? Wow, now these are gravel paths. The roads look a million times better. I wouldn't know. I haven't seen one yet. Well, my little trip of dying and spawning halfway across the world three or four times, uh, I got to see a couple. And then I remembered, hey, wait, I got the bot. I can just fetch you. Okay, a mini house. So there should be sleepers around here. Yeah. Do the only are the only sleepers in the house or also outside? Just in. Probably depends on POI. Also, whoop, two vultures. Oh, by the way, guys, the new server config file actually uh, you can set the size uh, that your bedroll protects, like how many blocks your bedroll protects. I did increase it from the default. Ooh, fat lady. How is she still sleeping? I'm wailing on this door. I can see her through the cracks. Two zombies, I have to hurry. Oops, other one saw me. Hey, uh, Flash? 
Hello, Flash? Oh damn, the vultures are closing in. I should probably put my sleeping bag down. Might be a good idea. Oh, come on. I wonder if the vultures leave you alone after a while. They do. See, if I take shelter in a house, then they won't come after me. Or they won't stay and wait for me. Okay, so I just cleared out this place. If I put a door here and don't put my land claim block, but only put my sleeping bag, then the zombies shouldn't respawn. That's correct. Yeah, these oh, videos look very bad. The texture. I should have put in the title of the server that it was A16. Probably, yeah. Okay. Already got a complaint that I'm too loud. Oh. Okay, so let's make a drop chest. I think I should uh, set the texture a bit because it's a little bit low. I'll just place the blocks over here and then upgrade them. Get this mission out of the way or quest. Okay, so let's quickly put the settings higher. Texture quality, it was only half size, that's why. Okay, that looks a lot better. You guys can still hear me, right? Yep. Just want to make sure that my chat's still working. Wow, that makes Just a little bit of difference. Dying. Let's drop the claim for now. Um, is there a cop on your side? Huh? I just heard a cop. Not for me. Please don't tell me it's on my side. Yeah, the controls are a little bit wonky in the game. Yeah. It really sounded like a cop getting hurt. They also amped up the damage you can do with tools. At the moment, the damage I'm doing in Warrior difficulty is the same as what you do in uh, Nomad. I never played single player, so I have no idea what you're talking about. The difficulty level of the server? I know, but I don't know what's what. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Vulture. Well, speaking of vultures. Son of a bitch. I hit him once, but ooh, I'm out of arrows. Run, 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 run. Two vultures. Wait, how can I be out of arrows? Damn. Okay, let's see what other roads I can follow. Do I keep going deeper into the desert, or do I go to the plains biome? Let's try the plains, there's something that I didn't see the first time. So the vultures do give up after a while of chasing you, right? Yep. Yeah, the difficulty is way easier. I'm playing warrior difficulty, but I can, after they go to the floor, I can hit them once with a stone axe. Hmm. There are so many vultures around here. And a mini army camp. Cool. Now I need to check out for mines. Okay, there don't seem to be any mines over here. It looks like a normal campsite, but with camouflage. Get stop being the dick. I, um, I brought a friend, he's still following me. I just got a mining helmet. Nice. These zombies pop out uh, from nowhere all of a sudden. Oops, army guy. Damn it. Wait, it's like a normal camp uh, ground, but there's actually army guys here. Oops, 
Oops, oops, oops. I'd say this is actually unlo unlucky for me. Still only have my first bow and I'm already facing soldiers. Come on, come on, come on. I can be lucky they're slow. And out of arrows, damn. Only have five left, how's that possible? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is nerve wracking. Okay, 15 more arrows. And decap. Wow, uh, have you seen the zombies' faces yet? Yep. It actually looks like zombies now, just uh, not just humans wearing stuff. I seriously need to start setting up, otherwise I'm not going to make it. Oh, uh, there's a sp uh, spawn bug. This soldier just stood up exactly where the other one was. User disconnected from your channel. Just to make sure no one else spawns. Let's get so used to there. I don't think so. I oh, say so he's the one that disconnected. That was seriously weird. The one army guy, the soldier, stood up exactly where the other one stood up. So I don't know if it's a bug or if it's just a, spawn, a normal spawn, but the locations are set to certain points. Our munition boxes now take 20 seconds to open. Sniper rifle. Okay, let's see where we are on the map. That looks like a cave. Awesome. Okay, we'll head up. First, we need to gather some wood so we can make more arrows. Hey, Sean, I need to hop off here to talk to my wife. Yeah, that's fine. Every time I try to put my headset on, she tries to talk to me. I think I'm also going to log off of TeamSpeak because it might interfere with my recording. It's possible. Alright, it's a good scene, man. I'll, uh... Disconnected. Okay, now that was a little bit rude of me. I didn't, know, I didn't think he'd have anything else to say. Sorry about that, Flash. I could have sworn I upgraded that third frame, but it still shows two out of three. What the hell? Okay, should be able to make a ton more arrows, but now I need more stone. Damn. How many feathers? I still have 140 feathers, so I can make quite a bit of ammo. I just want to stay crouched. Ooh, they actually put this back in. 
When you're crouched, you make less damage. Or you make less noise, sorry. We're gonna take three, level, uh, three layers of this rock, and then we're gonna keep on exploring. It almost feels like the up the damage from uh, all the tools, because in Alpha 15 there's no way I'd be able to take down these three layers so fast. I want to build close to the trader so that I can actually use their benches to make better items, better weapons and start building. So I'm going to keep exploring upwards into the plains biome, but I might just set up shop like over here or something. It all depends what I find. Damn it! Okay, first damn wolf down. Did not expect to find a wolf over here. Let's just hope they don't travel in packs. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any more wolves. Let's just do this for in case. Okay, so we're gonna repair this one. Okay, let's make a new bow as well. I think it's the time we have a new strength bow. But what do we need? Wood. Okay, so while we run there, let's just hope we don't find any more wolves. Let's collect wood on the way. That actually scared the hell out of me, seeing a wolf. Okay, we need the stone axe, so let's just let this repair. And then this one, we take the ammo out. Scrap it, and then put... Wow, the quality hasn't gone up. Just quickly look at the skills and see what we're missing. Weapons moving. Oops, can't focus on that now. Focus, John, focus, don't waste ammo. Some of them are still up in your face. Let's see if we can make a shiv. Do we have bones? Yes. Okay, let's go. If we see a wolf, we can use the sniper rifle to kill it. Just don't want to have to waste shots on them, so I have to aim carefully. Let's just keep the sniper rifle out for in case. Okay, this seems to definitely turn into a... No, it's not. It looks like a different biome. That's why I confused it with the burnt biome in the beginning. I have to aim with this guy carefully, don't want to waste my ammo. And let's see how powerful the shiv is, and that data. Awesome. We just switch these two. At this rate, we're never going to get anywhere. So I wonder if we should just go back to this base and start fortifying, and then we can explore this way as well. Don't want to go too far away and then get screwed in the dark. As you can see, it's actually already turning dark. Wait, where's the stone that I'm seeing? I have to keep my ears open for the wolves. That one wolf only made, started to make sound when he actually saw me and started charging. So your reflexes need to be really good in this game now. Where are you, Dolly? Oh, I thought it was a nurse. I actually have to conserve my ammo, so once I take them down with a arrow, I need to use my shove. Yep, I was right. It's a massive cave. But I wonder if there's any base or anything in here. They might have made it dif more difficult for this alpha. This seems like a pit at the moment. Oh no, here's a true cave. Let's go in here and get all the mushrooms. Just please don't spawn a sleep all of a sudden. 
That one army guy wasn't there, and then, then he spawned, so it could happen down here as well. And I have to get out, damn it. Might have been a bad idea. Let's just quickly make a wooden frame. And also, while we're here, we can just as well upgrade this one. Yep, we can get out. Let's just upgrade this for that skill, for the quest. Oh, that's why we needed wood. Just quickly chop down this tree and then we should be able to get the last skill or the last quest done. This is the second starter base quest, so I wonder what the next one will be since they changed it up a bit. Usually the bedroll was later on in the game. Keep my sniper rifle out and see what this place holds. Because sometimes the ferals actually started in caves. Okay, this place is massive, but we're gonna come back here as soon as we have tools to mine. Don't wanna take the chance and explore too far. Also, as you can see, it's almost dark. Okay, let's head back to the base. So now, instead of being paranoid about bears all the time, I'm gonna be paranoid about wolves. The only time I'm going to use my sniper rifle is if I see a wolf or I see a vulture coming close towards us. It's a shame there's no trees around us. We can actually use a lot of trees. Let's dump all of the inventory. No, wait. We need to keep the food on us. But... Wait, can I only stack to 12? Oh, I put more in than 12, that's why. Should probably keep the sniper rounds on us and drop the food. Okay, and now keep exploring. You just need to be back before dark. Now where? Oh, there he is. I wanna waste my ammo. Come on. Damn, already wasting ammo. He's so thin, look at his body. There's almost nothing on him. These guys are gonna be impossible to kill. No wonder Mad Mole had a difficulty in that one video. Their bodies are extremely thin, so that which you can hit is very hard to hit. And dead. Okay, cool. Wait. His corpse is disappearing, and that's a bug. Drop the feathers. No, we keep the feathers. We need to make more ammo. So what we're looking for now is wood and stone. And I can just well drop the sniper rifle because I just wasted all the ammo. Let's see what's over here. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Madmall said something about buying skills now. So I think the tool skills and everything I need to buy. Let's just take all the wood we come across as well. And the stones laying on the ground. It bothers me that the snakes attack you without any warning. I mean, you're not uh, in their territory or anything, unless their territory spans like 30 blocks. And kill him, kill him, kill him. Ooh, this bug is still here where the face is off into the floor. Okay, and red marker, where were you? Please tell me there's a base or something over there that I can use. Campsite, so where's the zombies? We killed one, but that shouldn't be all. Let's go around on top and see if we can shoot them from up here. fat lady as well. 
So is that... Is she dead, that nurse? Okay, so that was a dead body, meaning that one's still alive. Or not. Guys, did you just see the body move from there to there? They definitely still need to work on the bugs. I can't believe they released it and there's still this many bugs. I just hope there's not any more zombies that's gonna spawn over here. Like for example that army guy that just spawned out of nowhere. Okay, so this is the only thing up here. What's down here? Should I go for it now? It's starting to get dark so I have to hurry. At least I think I'm doing it so far. What do you guys think? Killed two snakes, killed a wolf, and then killed a ton of zombies so far as well. But, I don't want to get too cocky. Because anything can happen. Okay, so this is the road, where does this lead? There seems to be something up here. So we might just find a new base to build. The one we're currently in is a little bit too small for my taste. I think this is the same size. Let's just go down and check. Do we have stone? Yes. Wood? Yes. Feathers? Yes. So I can actually make more arrows. Oh no, this one's a little bit larger. So I might just come and build yeah. The only thing I don't like is it's up against the hill, so zombies can still dig underneath. Guys, I do apologize if I'm a bit quiet or a bit uh, relaxed. It's just that it's night time over here and I don't want to disturb everyone. Tomorrow morning I'm going to make quite a few videos of this game and then I should be able to go full on. Okay, so no one's spawning outside, meaning there's still a ton of sleepers inside. Can you actually see them from here? Doesn't seem to be. Let's quickly make another frame. Where are the frames? I actually need to favorite it because it keeps moving around. Let's just do this. Favorites. That's not favorited. Favorite and craft. They, there's definitely zombies in there, so let's just be careful. Let's crouch rather, then we know if someone senses us. No sleeper zombies, what the hell? Okay, so we're gonna take over this place. I just hope they don't spawn out of nowhere all of a sudden. I'm gonna put the sleeping bag on the table for now. At least we have one on us. Let's put it oh, next to the table then. I wonder if they only spawn in certain places or if it's just bug and it's not spawning now. Just want to check on the map which one is closer to the trader and which one is bit of better use to us. But there seems to be a zombie somewhere. Hopefully he's outside. Otherwise it means he's in here. So we're going to drop everything over here. And then quickly make a few chests. Go 
Okay, the chest we're going to put up here for now. Like I said, hopefully there's no one in the room because if they break out, then they can actually damage our loot. Okay, and then we'll quickly go to the other base. Uh, this one over here, I think. Yeah, and we're just quickly going to take all our stuff over here. We're going to pause the trader, so we might as well sell a few things if we have things to uh, sell at the moment. Okay, so there are zombies in the vicinity, I just need to watch out. Also, I just need to be cautious of more wolves. It would suck if a wolf killed me just before nightfall, just as I'm about to survive the first day. I actually also need to figure out, I think during the night, I'm going to figure out off camera how to use these skills and then next video we can go through them together. And I have to hurry into the house because there's vultures here. Okay, go away, go away, go away. Let's just grab everything. Ooh, we can't. I'm not going to use hunting rifle. Let's eat, scrap these. Okay, so the gun I'm definitely taking with. And there's no need for everything else since everything in the we can find all of these in the biome. So we can leave the coffee, we can sell this, and then we can use these for torches. Like so. Okay, so now we just go to the trader. I'm gonna close this one so they don't spawn in there again. And we're going to sell all of these to the trader and then go to the base. There's so much loot around here, it's awesome. Just need to take care that I don't die now before nightfall. Come on. Ooh, business guy. One of the new zombies. Business shoes. Uh, let's see. Where? Mm -hmm. For now, okay. And where? Okay. Are you a snake? Either a snake or a zombie. I actually need to complete all these beginner quests since um, I want to get those out of the way. Also, there's a trader just here, and hopefully, this is my trader. That would be awesome. I can't believe I forgot to loot this mailbox. So now, close to my base, I have a forge, a workbench, a, a chemistry station, and a cement mixer. Awesome. What can I get you today? Okay, for now we can sell the shotgun. Or s no, let's sell the golden rod. We always pick up more. Uh, the acre fruit we can sell. No, we can't sell. Uh, nothing else that we can sell actually. Gun part perhaps, and then cash. I actually want to buy a few things, but we don't have the cash for that now. So we'll just have to keep on looting, and then... Ooh, I could have bought one here, but look how expensive it is. Damn. Right, doing business with you. Come back and tell your friend. Okay, so let's quickly head to the base. I'm going to stand up early tomorrow so I can make quite a few of these videos. Like I said, I wanted to stream, but I just... Wait, what's that? Since I played the modded server, it almost looked like a Jason. For those of you who don't know, um, the Val mod server Alpha 15 has a Jason zombie that moves like a human. So for a moment there, that zombie looked like one. I need to hurry because there's vultures in there again. I wonder if the vultures are only in the hot biomes like the plains and the desert. I wonder if they're also in the forest. Already I have guests over here. Come on. And once again his head is gone, so I'm struggling to kill them. 
can easily waste ammo like that. So we're gonna do this, pick up, and then we're safe for the night. Oh no, we can't pick up. We have to drop a few things first. Okay, there seems to be zombies outside, so let's just quickly stop them from getting in. I think I dropped my wood, if I have any wood at all. Okay, a little bit of wood. Is that snake outside? It's gonna bother me. I have to go check. Three shots to make sure it's dead and then skin it. There seems to be a bit of a few bugs in the game at the moment, but they should sort that out with these exper uh, experimental bolts like they did with Alpha 15. It's a shame I don't have any more wood, then I could have actually boarded up this place. For now, let's just do this and hope they don't spot us during the night. Okay, so if you guys liked this first episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments, please leave that down below, or tips on the game if you guys have played more than me. Uh, let me know down below, and if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe for more of this content. See you guys next time.